I think that when you paint or when you write a book or anything, that has to start with a certain innocence. That is to say, there mustn't be a, a feedback to ego. This is from, it, 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 you must give whatever and without sort of thinking I'm giving anything. It, it is children are like that, they do it. Would you say that the raising of your children directly influenced your painting? Yes, it's like moments of understanding that come through, you know, lovers and children and life and question what's life about and all that and all that. These sort of moments of understanding or whatever you like to call it and religious terms, satori, or they're important, they're inspiration. My parents were Jewish, of course. I never practiced like lighting Sabbath candles, but my daughter Hermione says she lives in my paintings, couldn't be more Jewish. She can't quite understand how that happens because she was brought up, we were Buddhists and, um, in the 60s anyway. So um, I can't explain, it's my origins. I did a big picture, it's in the Benuri collection of my grandfather Auschwitz with all the dead bodies. It's a very nice picture, oh, that's a nice picture, but I mean, I, I mean you, you paint that, you can't be in it. The one that's painting, I won't say it's detached, but the one that's painting is the one that sees. When I paint a rabbi, in a way, it's from a Buddhist point of view, in a way, although it's my own grandfather. There is something, that's why I think people like them very much, it's not involved. It, but in a way, all artists have that part of the mind where when they paint, it's not involved, it's seen. We went to Dharamsala to have audience with His Holiness the Dalai Lama. Actually, I was going to have an, a, one private audience and the family also an audience. But it happened that His Holiness had to go somewhere, um, Siberia or somewhere or other, and he couldn't manage both. And I felt it wouldn't be good of me to just have my audience. And I, so we all went together. But it was very good, and His Holiness asked me, or oh, you wanted to talk to me and ask me special things. And I said, I wanted to ask you about the similarity between Jewish mysticism and Tibetan mysticism, because there is a great... And he said, oh, yes, yes, and also in the practice, and we have many Jewish people here. So my daughter makes, made a joke about it, because apparently when my mother died, I went to see the um, rabbi to arrange for the headstone funerals, and I said to the rabbi, well, I'm not Jewish anymore, I'm a Buddhist now. So <laughs> you make sense of it. So there you were in the, I guess, was it the late 60s? Was your first daughter born? Um, when was Amelie born? No, 50s. 50. Oh, she's, yes, she's 60 now. She was born 1951. Our first baby, we were only very young. Uh, 21 or something like that, yeah. And you were painting then? Oh, we, yes, we just been to art school. Yes, yes I've found time to do a little work, yes. So tell me, how did your family life work around the Paint. newborn baby, and there was mm. George, mm. and then your painting? Because, as you say, it's yeah. a hobby, but oh, actually... It was, it was very difficult at that time because we didn't have money, no, and we didn't have a home, really, and we lived in furnished rooms. So it was rather tricky, really, but I somehow managed to do a little bit of painting. Would you recommend painting as a, to all young mums that, that need to...? Yes, if they like it. It, it, is very, it is a great therapy, it really is. I mean, people know that, that it's as therapy, you know, pottery and painting. It is, because it centres the mind. It's the, the feeling between the husband and wife or the lovers, the, the feeling. It's, it's a question of um, compassion for everybody. Like, you know, finding that within oneself, that, that's the hap real happiness, you see. I don't want to preach, but it's, it's when, it's not like I've got something good, I've got it. It's, it's sort of universal again, if you see what I mean.